The next service in the AWS Cloud Practitioner um, exam that you just need to know about is called Route 53. Route 53 is AWS's domain name system service. Um, as you probably should know, uh, DNS is another, you know, that's the name of the website. So google.com or amazon.com. Um, uh, when you type that into your browser, it goes to a DNS and the DNS says, okay, this name is registered here under this particular IP to, to which it will return to your computer that IP and your computer can communicate with that server IP there on out. And so obviously with your servers and your computes running through AWS, well, AWS provides a DNS service. All your domains that are hosted on AWS, the information about those and their subdomains and all the routing information is contained within these hosted zones. So essentially what you do with this is um, you have your hosted zone and you create a set of records, essentially a set of uh, instructions or key value pairs that will link particular domains to various uh, instances. So you get to define which domain and which subdomain, you know, which domains and their subdomains point to which of, of your resources. And uh, along with that, also uh, Route 53 gives you some multiple strategies. If, you're, if your traffic from location X wants uh, foo.bar.com, then you might want to point them to a CloudFront distribution versus another one, you might want to point them to um, your S3 for that resource. All kinds of stuff. What happens when there's failover? Uh, if one if one of the hosted zones are not available, what and all kinds of you know, there's all kinds of, of strategies which uh, I don't actually know how in depth they get on the test, but um, I guess we'll find out.